Welcome to the darkness of the void. You have committed a great evil within your mortal life, of which has bound you for the underworld. Yet you have also committed great sacrifice, and good deeds worthy of the purity within the sky. Don't bother looking for me. I'm in your head. And no, you're not going crazy. And this isn't a dream. If anything, this would be more of a nightmare. But that's beside the point. Anyway, as I was saying, you're in the void, awaiting judgment whether you go to the underworld or paradise within the skies. Ahead of you lay many trials. Pass all of them, reach it to the very top of the tower, and you will be found worthy of true redemption. Fail, however, and suffer for all eternity within the underworld. Now, time for an introduction, I believe. My name's Fate, and I'll be your guiding companion during your trials. Not that this one particularly looks very intelligent. If you want to head on up to that giant flaming tower of death up there, you'll find the entrance to start your first trial. Try not to get lost on the way. You wouldn't believe how many souls just walked right on past that lantern in the early days. Lost their first life straight away, falling down a hole. That's why you've got me. No matter how dim-witted you are, I can point out the obvious and guide you on your way. Okay, this isn't even part of the trial. This is just unlocking the entrance. You need to connect the soul stones to focus the power into the center. I'm sure you can figure this one out. Fine. Completely intact. No missing ligaments. Couldn't be doing with another screaming soul lodged into the brickwork, screaming for help day and night. Ugh, what a headache. Okay, before you step through that door, I need to explain something. So listen carefully. The first trial is through that door. We're currently presiding within the tower dungeons. As you complete each trial, you'll eventually reach the tower, which is where things get more... interesting. If you can reach the top of the tower, well, that's where the soul transporter is, and your ticket to the clouds. If you fail a single trial, you lose a life, and if you lose all three, your time here is through. As I said before, you want to know the most important thing I'll ever tell you? Well, it's quite simple, really. Listen to me. Always, always listen to me. I want you to savor every single syllable that comes out of my mouth. Okay. Now that that's out of the way, let's do this. Hmm. 
Let's shine a little light on this subject, shall we? Hmm. Three mysterious doors. Three ways. Three options. Which one to choose? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a spirit you may know. If it cries, tell it lies, because you'll never let it go. The left one. Actually, stop. I'm thinking. Yes, I'm sure it's the right one. See, that wasn't so hard, was it? You passed the first trial, and all you had to do was listen to me. what happened to this poor chap. Oh, and now we know. Hmm, three mysterious doors, three ways, three options. Which one to choose? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a spirit you may know. If it cries, tell it lies, because you'll never let it go. The left one. Actually, stop. I'm thinking. Yes, I'm sure it's the right one. And the right one is clearly the middle. you go walking headfirst and decorating the stairs with your entrails. Your mind struggles to establish control over your phys- I like to call this one the bridge of failure. I'll let you use your brains to work this one out. As always, total failure of a bridge. I'll give you a hint. All the chains are connected. soul remnant. Let me see. Hmm. Yes, it has enough energy left in it to reform you. It looks like we're going to be able to give you more than three chances after all. It takes a lot of power to place a soul into physical form. A fresh, intact soul can usually be re-hosted three times before it crumbles into nothing. Often the soul's mind will break first, however. Death is not a pleasant experience. Not the kind here, anyway. When the mind is broken, they refuse to reform. Fortunately for really you, there. you can absorb their... leftovers.
boat gently down the stream Merrily, 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 life is but a dream Row, row, row your boat gently up the creek If you see a little mouse, don't forget to squeak Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream Bernard loves that rhyme. That's just him saying hello. Doesn't look like he's hungry much today. Whatever you do, don't look up. Christina's not had a decent meal in a fair while now, so she's very hungry. Thing you need to learn about this place is that there's always a way out. Usually. A key, hidden passage, maybe even a brick sticking out of the wall that you need to push to stop the entire thing. Clever you, you figured it out. possibly set on fire with these. like to believe you injured her enough to kill her. Trust me, 
All you did was make her angry. I'm sure this won't be the last time you meet. On the plus side, the way's clear now. Unless she's waiting for you at the top. the tower center. Straight ahead is the Essence Gate, the way to the next section of the tower. There are four altars next to it that you need to place the Soul Essence Crystals within to power the gate in order to break the seal. In simple terms, we need to find four shiny stones and place them on the altars to open the gate. The Essence Crystals are hidden and protected. Up until now, we've been sneaking past the defenses. Not many souls have managed to make it much further than the center. If you do, you'll be worthy of the truth of this tower. But until then, best get searching for those crystals. I should be able to sense them when we're close enough. I'll let you know when we're close to one. It appears the Keeper's pet has discovered you. Another misguided soul. Be gone from this place, human, or be burnt to ash. Don't listen to him. There's nothing he can do to you. Not here, anyway. If I had access to my physical form, he would be nothing but a fly I would swat into the ground. Shame she'll never sail again. Their owner was one of the most evil pirates known to have sailed the realms. The ship was soaked in so much one blood time. it became I'm a tainted to thing in itself. The, that can actually the swim. entire crew were on I'm their way to the underworld before I brought them here. Sulfuric acid. I gave them all a chance. A sting in the the captain even managed to attain the water soul crystal. find in that room is a walking, talking pile of bones. He'll rob you.
scent of autumn leaves and dirt. We're close to the Earth Soul Crystal. This is where Christina went off to. Looks like she's not too happy with you letting you anywhere near her new nest. I don't think trying to set her on fire is the best idea this time. I mean, if you want to make her angrier, sure. What's the best way to handle spiders, besides setting them on fire? sitting strategically on top of a cliff, maybe.
is getting thicker. The air crystal must be close. to crawl up there and get it.
so. The soul has some gray matter swirling around in there after all. weeping. She is a beautiful vessel. Shame she'll never sail again. Their owner was one of the most evil things ever seen. The ship was
the water crystal, returned from those greedy pirates. played the game, the floor is lava. As you can see, same idea. Don't fall in. You just need to get back without burning yourself alive again. Or worse, dropping the crystal in the lava. Time to see what's finally behind this 
this damn door. <sighs> I figured as much. A long passageway of swinging spiky balls of death. Nothing you can't handle, right? I can see you're determined to reach the top. You've not given up so far anyway. And it's not exactly been a walk through the meadow. Most souls give up and accept their fate at this point. No pun intended. I can feel you know something's not quite right with this story. Like I said earlier, to make it this far, as promised, you deserve the truth. I was a bit of a A bit of light witchcraft here, a little black magic there, human sacrificial offerings by the thousands, the usual stuff a young, power-hungry witch gets up to. That had to oh, I was good, you know. I can see you're determined to reach the top. You've not given up so far anyway. And it's not exactly been a walk through the meadow. Most souls give up and accept their fate at this point. No pun intended. I can feel you know something's not quite right with this story. Like I said earlier, to make it this far, as promised, you deserve the truth. I was a bit of a bad girl in my time. A bit of light witchcraft here, a little black magic there, human sacrificial offerings by the thousands, you know, the usual stuff a young, power-hungry witch gets up to. Oh, I was good, you know. Well, not in the moral sense, but when you absorb a few thousand souls, real souls, virgin souls, not the petty residual scraps you've been collecting. You really come into the peak of your power. So, anyway, back to the story. I got a bit ahead of myself. I summoned a demon. It seems like a logical next step. I traded them a few hundred souls, and they gave me some of their power in return. Immortality, speed, strength, the obvious. Well, the bigwigs upstairs weren't having any of that. As soon as my blood turned from human to demoness, well, that gave them all the authority they needed to intervene. They sealed me away in this place. A deep, dark prison in the middle of absolutely nowhere. Or as I like to call it, the void. Absolutely no way to connect to any place or any one. Well, except the occasional soul that flies too close to the tiny bubble of influence I do have. Yeah, you've probably just figured it out that I'm the one who pulled you into this prison. So, here's the deal. I have no idea where you were heading. Maybe upstairs? Maybe downstairs. The way I see it is I saved you from that gamble. If you help me escape, I have the power to nudge you upstairs. Trust me, you don't want to fall the other direction. You need to make your own fate is what I say. I can restore your soul into its physical shell, and to an extent manipulate areas where the seals are weak or broken. Beyond that, I'm just a voice in your head. I'm not keeping you here. Once you're here, you're stuck. Unless you have enough power to tear a rift out. Which, I do. I'm just...
just unable to use any of that power unless the seal holding me is broken. I'm imprisoned within the very top of the tower. Although don't even dare to picture a helpless princess in need of rescue. I'm a demonic witch offering you a mutually beneficial deal. You free me, and I open both of us up a way out. organ. I always wondered what happened to it. It belonged to a death-worshipping cult the last time organ. I saw it. This I always place does love hoarding cult objects.